Hi, it's Lori from LoriStory.com, and we're back with, I believe, will be our final card in the series. And for this card, we're going to make a shaped card. And it's really very simple, and it, I thought it turned out really cute. I'm going to show you how to assemble it. Okay, for the, so the first thing we're going to do is start with a fresh mat. We have to buy one thing from the Silhouette store, and the only thing I bought was this set right here. I believe it's uh, by Echo Park. It's called Three Print and Cut Christmas Labels. It's got Season's Greetings, Merry Christmas, and the Jolly, the Jolly one. So you're going to purchase that and then open that on your mat. First thing we're going to do is click on it, right click, and ungroup. Click off. Now select the jolly one. And let's delete that. The Merry Christmas one. We don't need that. We're just going to be dealing with this one. Okay, now to get our sizing down, we want to make a square that will represent the size of our card. And I want this to fit into an A2 envelope. So I'm going to make a rectangle. And let's go up to our scale window. And let's make our rectangle 5.5 by 4.25. OK, so the first thing we want to do is size this to be about the size of an A2 card. So we're going to take this shape. We're going to click on it and just stretch it out a little bit so that it fits inside that rectangle without going over. I'm going to go ahead and pull this down just a little bit. That's pretty close. Mine is 5.27 by 3.96 and you can easily just click on it, go to the scale window and enter those dimensions. 5.27 wide, 3.96 high. Okay, so now that we know that this is what the size of the card base is going to be, we're going to pull this down. We don't need the rectangle anymore, so we'll delete that. And what we're going to do is make a copy of this. So right click, copy, right click, paste. Okay, so let's move this one off to the side. This is going to be the card front. This is what we're going to use to make the base. So we're going to take this one and we're going to go up to the replicate window and we're going to hit mirror above. And that's going to make a shape exactly the same right above. Okay, you can see where they're only touching right at the point. If you look at my card, I actually made it so they were touching pretty good, clear across the top, so that it wouldn't fall apart. So we're going to take the top one and just click on it without moving anything other than the down arrow. Bring it down like so, just so that they're touching enough. Okay. While that one is shifted, I mean, while that one is selected, hold your shift key and select the second one. Let's go to the modify window and let's hit weld. Okay, that made that into one shape. So that is our card base. Now, we're going to be cutting this in white or on white, so we don't really need to worry about the fact that it's see-through. But we want to make sure that it will fit on front of the card without, um, right now it's the same exact size, so we're going to make this a little bit smaller. So let's right or click on this, right click and bring it to the front so that we can move it over here and see how big we need to make this. So let's just using a corner, pull it up a little bit. And if you want to make it easier to see, click on this piece, hit the fill window and let's turn that white. Well, I guess that doesn't make it too much easier to see. Let's turn it gray. There we go. So now you can see that this piece 
fits is going to fit nicely on the card front with just a little bit of edge. I think I'll make it just still a little bit smaller. Okay. So we'll move this piece off and I am going to cut this out of red cardstock. So I'm just going to fill it with red just to remind me. Now the next thing I did was make well, I guess I didn't show you that, but I can. I made a inside piece so that since it's in red, it's kind of hard to write on that and be able to see. So I made this piece that goes on the inside. So we're going to make that now. In order to make this piece right here, let's go back to ours. This is what I did. I took this piece and again copied it. Right click copy, right click paste. Okay. And then I just took this piece and I filled it, oops, filled it with white. So that's going to be, and it'll fit perfectly because it's the same size as this top one. And then to get that little red line around it, select your line color and select the red. Well, I guess, let's go back. And then to get the red line around it, what I did was go to the internal offset, the offset window, click internal, while this shape is selected, click internal offset. And I set it at about 1.55. Hit apply. Okay, while that is still selected, since it's easily selected, let's go to the cut window. We don't want that internal offset to cut. That's just going to be a line. So we'll hit no cut. And also, you can go if you want, and you can make that line a little bit thicker. And then mine's at 2.00 points. Okay, so now we have all the pieces we need. Let's check our cut window and see what's what. We hit cut edge on that. That's going to cut that piece out, which will be folded in half. Click this piece, cut edge. Click this piece, make sure you're clicking on that outer edge, and hit click, cut edge. Okay. Now let's go back home. Okay, now you have all the pieces you need. You just have to cut this out. I cut mine in red cardstock. If you don't want to do that, you can print and cut. Um, and, you know, print it in red. And then you're going to, what I did was cut this out in red by itself. Took that off the mat. And then I went to my um, use printer settings. Show registration marks. So that I have my registration marks, I put this piece on, and I put, whoops, goes to show you, didn't group that. I want to make sure that doesn't happen, select both of those, right click, group. Okay, now that's one piece, and I put that on, and then I did a print, send this to the printer, printed that, put it back through the cutter, and cut these pieces out. When it's all done, I popped out this piece on to the front, and when I folded it in half, this piece goes on the back side of that. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you have any questions, email me, or if there's something else you'd like to see, let me know. Thanks!